what's up, guys? Thank you for joining us uh, for this show. Um, I'm your host of the Athletes Grind podcast, Ray Thompson, and I kind of want to give you some insight about the Athletes Grind really quick. The Athletes Grind uh, podcast uh, organization is a nonprofit organization uh, looking to give student athletes, whether it be in elementary school, middle school, high school, the exposure they need to make it to the next level. It will really help out if you guys hit that subscribe button to share with everyone, uh, our, our student athletes who are doing great things, not only on the field, but off the field as well. And absolutely hit that like button if you like what you see. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the show. All right. Welcome to the Athletes Grind presented to you by Five Star Athletics. Man, we got a speedster here today. I am so happy to have this young man with us, Darren McQueen Jr. Uh, from Christopher Columbus uh, High School down in Miami, Florida. Darren, thank you so much for joining us uh, today. How are you doing? Thank you for having me, first off. And I'm doing pretty good. What about you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. And, and, and I'm just excited to have you here. you got a, a dual sport athlete right here, uh, football and track and field. So I'm, I'm ready to get into it, man. And, and you got a great smile on you as well. So <laughs> I'm sure you hear that all the time. But Darren, for, for our fans, our followers, man, for college coaches, football coaches, track and field coaches, uh, that, that don't know you or maybe know a little bit about you, um, you know, we're going to learn a little, a little bit more about you. Um, and to start, tell us a little bit about yourself, Darren, you know, when you started playing football, when you started running track. Uh, we mentioned that you attend uh, Christopher Columbus right now. Um, so, so just tell us some, some things about yourself. All right. Well, I started playing football when I was young, track too. Track actually came before football because I wasn't old enough for football. But okay. in both sports, when I started, they just, my parents took me to a random part, threw me on the field. And then from there, I just fell in love with the, with both sports. Okay. It, it was, I would say it was magic from then because I, I, I've i seen your film. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, and it, for our fans, our followers, if I have not mentioned, uh, Darren is a 22 recruit right now. So he, he's ready. D Darren, and I'm going to throw this out there early. Uh, are, are you signed right now? I'm actually not. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. And, and I'm, I'm sure that will, that will change uh, very soon. You, you have uh, several offers on the table um, that we'll talk about a little bit later. But, you know, um, this is the interesting thing that I want to get into is, you know, we know we can't do anything without academics. Right. And, and man, when I tell you, you got a GPA on you. Uh, so get ready, uh, fans and followers. Darren, talk us through your academics. What's your GPA as well as what's your uh, favorite subject? My GPA is a 4.82. I've always. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You know, academics have always been a big part of my life, just as football and track house. So I take it just as serious as I do sports. So I try to excel in that just how I do in my sports. And I got to say my favorite subject has to be psychology. It's just so much fun learning about behavior, the mind and all that good and great stuff. Okay. All right. All right. So you were you trying to do speed through people's minds, man? What was going on here? <laughs> a little something like that. Just figure out what people are thinking, figure out why they act, how they act, how I can help them, that type of stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and in all seriousness, that that is, um, you know, one of the things that, um, man, is big right now. You know, I don't I don't want to sour the subject, but uh, mental health um, is, is very serious. And, and we see a lot of our athletes dealing with those things, a lot of our family members and, and there's people we know. So um, that's that's awesome. But, you know, Darren, getting more into that, you know, we know you, you want to you know play at the next level, whether it be football, track, and we'll get into that, whether it's both, I'm not sure, maybe professionally one day, I'm not sure, but uh, what are your career goals after you hang up your spikes, after you hang up your cleats? What do you want to do? After I hang up my spikes and cleats, I want to be a psychiatrist so I can help people. Okay. I like helping people, and I want to do everything I can to help everyone I meet. Okay. All right. All right. Definitely respect that. And, and, and you know, again, Darren, learning more about you, it, tell us your favorite musical artist, you know, before you step on that field for Christopher Columbus, before you, you know, start running track, you know, what, what are you listening to? What's your playlist like, man? Um, my playlist includes Lil Z Vert. That's right before I step on the field, just so I could get a hype, ready to run or ready to go knock somebody's head off, you know? <laughs> 
Okay. All right, all right. And I'm glad you mentioned that because we're going to talk a little bit more about you uh, blowing up these uh, wide receiver screens and whatnot, man. So I saw I saw the film, man. And so so tell us about your, your role models. Do you have some, anybody that you're looking up to right now? Mm, my I would say my professional football player role models would have to be Buda Baker and Tyron Matthew because they're both small mm. like me, but they still play like this sit, 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 seven. They don't care about height. It's all about heart, you know. I was just going to say that, man. It's all about heart, and, and you play exactly like that, man. Uh, so, um, you know, it, when we talk to your friends, if we talk to your friends, we talk to your teammates, both on the football track, you know, wh whatever it may be, what would they say about you? How would they describe you? I think they would describe me as a workaholic because no matter what we're doing, if it's a light day or heavy day, I'm always trying to give my all because it just doesn't sit right with me if I'm not working as hard as I can. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, and, 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 you know, do you have a specific model that you live by? Because you, you seem to be, uh, have your, have your head on right. And you, you know, you, you got this high GPA, you're excelling at, you know, most sports, you already know what you want to do as a career. Any specific, uh, models or creeds that you live by? Yeah. It's a quote by Eric Thomas in one of his many podcasts. It's, uh, you can't be successful until you want it as bad as you want to, as you breathe, as bad as you want to breathe. You know what? And, and I, I heard something uh, uh, similar to that, you know, where, where um, and I forget the, the gentleman's name where he said, uh, you don't want to be successful until you want to drink water as bad as you want to be successful until you have that thirst. You know, so I definitely respect that and I understand that. And, and you know, talking about models and what you live by, um, um, Darren, you know, what do you like most about specifically track and football? You start whichever one you want, want to go to first. With football, I think the best part is giving it your all with your brothers on the field. Especially we work from May all the way to December to go to States. And I think just putting that blood, sweat, and tears in the weight room and on the field, your brothers is probably my favorite part. Really builds connections that last, not just for the season, but for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And then for track, I would have to say, um, it's because of all the individual sports that it's really, it's all about you. So you don't have to depend on anyone, unlike football. Like if you put in the time, put in the work, you grind, it's you get back what you put in. And I think that's why, that's my favorite thing about track too. Okay, all right, all right. And for our fans, our followers, and college coaches, we're talking to Darren McQueen Jr. right now, uh, 22 recruit out of Christopher Columbus High School down in Miami, Florida. Football, a safety, kickoff return specialist, punt specialist, in on the track 100 meter. And, and I'll have you go through those things in, in a minute, Darren. But, you know, you're talking about your, 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 your you know, what you like most about, you know, your sports and things of that nature and, and playing sports. And, you know, what would be your favorite memory from athletics thus far? I mean, you, you got a lot of them, I'm sure. But what, what would be your, your, your favorite one? If you can nail down, maybe give us two. I think my favorite one from football is this past year, how um, I, I took a kick return back for a touchdown our first game of the year. It's my favorite because the play before I actually had a mess up and let up a touchdown, I had a missed assignment. Then the play right after I came back and made up for it with an 83 yard kick return. And that has to be my favorite moment from football as of right okay. now. Okay. All right. All right. And let's, let's talk, let's stay on that real quick. It's, you know, cause things happen, right? You know, you talk about the blown coverage and, and letting go that, um, that, that touchdown, how were you able to, you know, kind of channel that out of your mind and then get into the mode where, you know what, I I'm going to make up for this. And I'm going to, cause sometimes players try too hard and you were able to say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do this. And, and you were able to take that kickoff back. So talk a little bit about the mind and, and what you were thinking in that moment and, and how you made up for it and how that went into it. I think it's because of my short-term memory on the field. My coaches always preach about having a short-term memory at DV because we're always going to mess up and get made fun of or ridiculed by our teammates. And it's just all about how we respond to it. So I think that's why I was able to come back and do what I did. Right, right, right. I, I definitely respect that. I, I'm, I'm, I may not look it right now, but I was a DB. I played for Diller High School, uh, <laughs> junior varsity. I was more of a, a baseball player, but uh, I can, I can attest to that. But it's not about me. It's about you, Darren. So, 
<laughs> but 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 specifically, Darren, you know, you talked about playing a deep, uh, defensive back position there at Christopher Columbus. Is there any other positions that you played? Um, we talked about kick return specialists, but go go down the list of, of the positions you played, and maybe some positions that you haven't played that you would like to play maybe at the next level. I don't know. I have played you know, how you said special teams, DV, not just safety. I've also played corner. I've had to play at my previous school when I was at Corgay was actually had to play that nickel position and like linebacker slash safety just because we needed it. And I've also played slot receiver doing like a quick bubble or reverses or any speed type of play to just get the ball in my hands and get some yards. All right. Okay. All right. So now we're talking about versatility, right? So we're talking about you lining up in all these different positions. And man, when I was looking at the film, I said, man, why won't they line Darren up, you know, at, at running back or, or at wide receiver? And I know Christopher Columbus has a lot of talent down there. So, um, <laughs> but, but specifically, Darren, is there a specific uh, position that you love more than others or, or are you just open to whatever the team needs? I'm open to whatever the team needs and whatever could get me on the field to help the team out. Okay. All right. All right. And, and talking more about Christopher Columbus, you guys, again, got a lot of talent down there. Um, you guys are, you know, perennial uh, champs down there. But talk about, you know, the goals coming into the season and then how you thought the season went for you guys. I think our goal was clearly a state championship. That's every team's goals. But I think how the season ended, I still think we did better than a lot of people on the team and a lot of people outside of the team thought we would do. because. There wasn't as many speedsters on the team as usually. And defense really had to step it up this year. And we started off slow, but I still think we we did pretty good. State semifinals was a pretty yes. it's not what we wanted, but it's a pretty right. good way to end. Right, right. And, and then specifically your your uh goals. Did you have any goals for yourself? I did. My goals were to get turnovers, a lot of turnovers, a lot of tackles, lead the DBs and tackles. And score on special teams, and I was able to achieve all of that. Yeah, I, I would say so, man. And, and I gotta ask you, man, where, where does that diving for the ball come from, man? You, you got a couple of interceptions like that where you're diving, and and man, you just a, a playmaker. Where, where does that come from? Just your instinct to say, you know what, the ball is in the air, I gotta go get it. Specifically, like like Baker and, and Tyron Matthew. Because all my coaches I've coached that. My coach from Gables, Coach Padine, my dad. Coach Campbell and Coach Eddie Mendoza, they always teach us to die for the ball. Even if it's low, die for it because we want the ball in our hands to give it back to our offense. And no matter what the situation is, so that's just what happened in those in those moments. Right. Yeah. OK. Right. And, and you know, it's, I brought up those uh, those smoke screens that the teams are running, man. And. and when I tell you that this a uh, bolt of lightning coming from the safety position coming up, man, and, and just and just blowing that play up, where does that come from? Is that you know film study? Is just is that just natural instinct? A little of both. Talk a little bit about uh, the plays that you've been able to make. I will say it's a little bit of both. I do. I watch a lot of film with my dad at home, but then also Columbus. They they just throw film. It's like we eat film the whole time on the field and off the field in the classrooms. And, and then it's just in, instincts. I see the best receiver line up at slot. You got to think it might be a bubble, something quick so they can get yards. So I got to go as fast as I can to blow it up. Right. And, and, and I'm thinking, man, that's where that 4.8 GPA comes from. man. not, not only are you you can because a lot of players sometimes don't know how to break down the film or you don't, you see something on film and then it just doesn't register that quickly. Uh, you know, you see something on, on film and doesn't register that quickly on the field. But to you, it comes, you know, very, very fast. And, and that's a sign of a great, great playmaker. And what, what I want to talk about specifically is you talk about your size. You, you know, you're, you're I, I'll let you say I, give, give us your height and your weight right now. I'm five, seven, 150. Five seven one fifty playing the safety position. We talked about Matthew. We talked about Baker. So tell us specifically, being that size, playing the safety position, playing the DP position. Uh, how is that? You know, do you have to? Uh, let's say um, when, when you playing that when you playing that playing that those positions and at that size, and you got you know taller wide receivers. What does that play into? What what plays into your mind when you got to cover some bigger uh, athletes on the field? When I have to cover bigger athletes, I can't be as aggressive maybe because they'll try to use their weight or their height on me. That's where just my technique and speed comes out to be real precise in my technique when I open up, 
when I break, it's either make the play, even if it's on someone that sits far. Right. And I'm curious myself, man. You know, as, as, as those receivers try to go deep on you and, and you're kind of running past them, is, is it a surprise to them that, that you're able to keep up with them and that you're, you're, you're much faster than them? How, how's that going on the field? You, you hear anything? Did they say anything to you or what? It, it's usually a shocker for them. And they'll go and say something when it's time to give the little handshake after the game. They'll call me fast to say, how would I get that fast? Where I get my speed from? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, you know, talking about your teammates, Darren, you know, specifically, what do you like most about your teammates, whether it be on the football field, on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the track? You know, what do you like most about your teammates? Um, I think what I like most about them is how hard they work and how they're willing to work hard. They always try to match my energy or pat or beat it. And they just, they love the work and compete just how I do. And that's my favorite thing for football team and the track team. Okay, all right. And sticking on those two sports right now, Darren, you know, tell us a little bit about your training routines. You know, I, I mean, you're, you're, you're done at Columbus right now. Um, yeah, we don't want all your secrets or anything like that. We're not asking for your secrets, but, um, you know, give us a little insight on, you know, the training routine for football as well as track. The training routine for football and track. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Can I, can I fix this real quick? You're fine. You're fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's no problem, Darren. I got a couple puppies of my own, so you know I'm a I'm a dog lover as well. But go ahead. What, what's your training routine like for you know uh, football and, and also track? Well, for I'll start off with track. With track, it's more a lot of explosiveness on my legs and then weight room, arm wise, but upper body. I'm pushing it with Coach Vic and my old coach, Coach Strong, trying to get stronger and maintain for track so it could help carry me through the season and all my events. Then in foot, oh, and a lot of conditioning on the track. A lot of, I run more than what I'll ever run in a track meet. Right. And then with okay. football, in football, we go heavy in the weight room and hard on the conditioning. Gashes every day, explosive stuff, flipping tires. In the weight room, any type of bench press you can imagine, any type of squats. We just, we go heavy on the football field and the track and in the weight room. Okay. All right. All right. And, and you know, I, I say this a lot and, and, you know, there's a lot of football athletes that just, you know, just don't get it. You know, talk about being able to run track and, and what it does for you on the football field. How does running track help you on the football field? Get, 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 give it to us, man. Let, let the football players know, hey, you know, it's okay to run track. You're not going to lose anything. You're actually going to gain some things. So tell us what you've gained from running track and then you see it on the football field. Running track. I say running track has been a, a lifesaver for football. Yeah. Running track, it helps me, especially if I – if I get beat in a coverage, I'm always able to catch up before the ball is thrown. Or if someone breaks, I'm there to eat it. I'm there to eat them down. It doesn't matter. And just running track just correlates with football so much because you're working on explosiveness. You're getting quicker, faster. You'll be more conditioned when football season comes around. And it, it just goes hand in hand. It's perfect for it. They're perfect for each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, tell us some things that you're working on right now to get better. Um, you know, and, and track is coming up is right around right around the corner. So tell us some of the things that you're working on right now to improve. I'm working on my explosiveness, my drive phase and my conditioning. Mm -hmm. OK. Like, yeah, all right. All right. OK. All right. And, and we're going to put you on the spot real quick, uh, uh, Darren, you know, Football or track or both at the next level? What, what do you what do you want to do? I'd like to do both in the next level. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. And, and, and talking, talking, you know, let, let's kind of uh, move over to track because that's coming up. You know, you got several offers and, and you know, you got Yale out there, Brown, Fordham out there, uh, Tuskegee. You know, tell us a little bit about you, you have the Ivy League schools. Of course. Now, would you consider going to a power five and you got got an HBCU in there as well from Tuskegee? So uh, is it just kind of open right now where, where you would go or are you looking for a specific conference or, or, or what? Where I would go is pretty open, but I think the school I would like to go to most is Texas A&M. 
in that shit. Oh, I see, we didn't even ask you, man. And there it is right there, man. Wow. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Can I, can I move, move to the side a little bit, Darren, because we saw something on, on your wall back there. It's, it's oh, a the roll Alabama tide back there, man. <laughs> it's because my my cousin went there. He was a linebacker there, so I okay. was an Alabama fan, too. Okay, all right. McQueen, last name? Yeah, nah, his last name was different. No, I honestly <laughs> forgot his name because it, it's my mom's cousin. So it's, okay. I'm not as related as him, but he was real good. He played at Alabama, played at Kansas City, I'm pretty sure. He was real good. Okay. All right. All right. Definitely respect that. And, and you know, we talk about Texas AM and and they got a great track program. Um, you know, um <laughs> it's they got a great track program as well as a great football team. Um, now, focusing more on track, you won the top uh, returners in the 100 meter. Tell us everything that you run because it's a wide range. So what, what do you run on the track? I'll start from highest to lowest. I run the 800, the 400, 300 meter hurdles, the 200, and the 100. Wow. Wow. Any specific ones that you like or... You know, the specific ones would have to be the 300 meter hurdles and the 100. OK. All right. All right. All right. And and, and so so talk about because you, you were a district champion in the 300 meter hurdles. So talk a little bit about how it how it felt to win that district championship and how much you enjoy running the hurdles. It kind of felt unreal to win the district championships. Like It was just it was an amazing feeling to win it. Because I put in all the work since freshman year, then the win districts, and then also go on to states in place felt really good. And it was amazing. Right, right. right. And, and, and there, man, we, we, we can't we can't glance over this because that, that versatility, because you don't see a lot of uh, 100 meter runners, 200 meter runners also running hurdles. And it's a 300 meter hurdle at that. So talk a little bit about your versatility just overall, man. You just seem like a great athlete. But where does all of this come from where you're able to just kind of do multiple sports, multiple events? Where does that come from? It comes from. Just experimenting a lot when I was little. You know, my team, they would need the points when we go. My little league team, we they would need the points when we go out of town. So I was the guy they were throwing it. And with my dad pushing me a lot, I was able to just pick up all these, all these different events eventually. And now I'm able to excel in anyone I pick and choose. Absolutely. And man, we've heard your dad a couple of times. And I'll be remiss if I did not ask about that. Talk about the the just man, just the, the impact your family and your dad has had on your career thus far, uh, and and how they've been involved. Um, they've been pretty involved. They both both my parents have an impact. My dad and my mom just from pushing me when I felt like quitting, which has been a, a lot of times throughout my career, and pushing me in school, sports. They always want the best for me. They would always scream at me and tell scream at me that greatness isn't given; it's earned; it's taken. So that's just been something I go by and they've had a big impact on me. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and can we look forward to you running uh, multiple events this year as well? Or, you know, what, what, what do you, tell us what are your goals this year and, and will you run all of the events that you ran last year? My goal track? is, I will be running all the events I ran last year. My goals in the 100 meter dash is to go 10-3 and win states. And the 300 meter hurdles, 36 point win states. And the 200, 20.9, and also win states in that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that again. <laughs> Which one, the 200? The, yeah. I'm trying to go 20.9 this year. Oh, oh, man. I hope I'm there for that one, Darren. I, I, I really I really do hope so. And, and, and Darren, as, as we talk about you know, track and field, um, when, when you're looking to make a decision, and hopefully hopefully it works out for Texas A&M um, going forward, but would you would you be uh, be open to running the same events at Texas a and at any other school that you may choose? I will be open to running any of those events at any school I choose. OK. All right. I just I just want to make it clear for the for the for the coaches, for the college coaches that are watching that, you know, you're 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 open to run these multiple events. And, you know, when making when looking at, you know, your college decisions. Right. Um, and, and looking to make a, a, a uh, decision uh, pretty soon here. What are you going to be looking at from the school? Because you talked about being a psychiatrist when you hang up the cleats and, and, and the spikes. But 
what is going to be important for you as you choose a college program to go to for the next four or five years? What's important is if I'll be able to play football and run track, do both sports I love, and if the school can help me become better on the field and off the field as a man and as, a, and as an athlete, and whichever school can give me the best education so I can become a psychiatrist because it's a life after sports, so I need the academics too. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we kind of we kind of, you know, glanced over as we kind of wrap it up here. We kind of glanced over the offers that you've received. And and, you know, we talked about Texas A&M being your, your dream school. But is there any other schools that maybe have not reached out to you that um, that you would like to see reach out to you? Because, I mean, Texas A&M, you're not signed yet. You're uncommitted. So, you know, there's room for other schools to come in. But is there any schools that maybe have not reached out that you would love to reach out to you? Yeah, there actually is. There's Duke, and then besides them, there is, there's a lot of HBCUs, pretty much. Okay. And uh, North Carolina A&T, FAM, I'm really yes. looking for those two to hit me up before this year ends, for this season. Right, right, right. right. Now, Darren, I can't, let, I can't let you slide, man. You see what I'm wearing here, man. You see what I'm wearing <laughs> I actually, here. Now I actually applied there. I was talking to the coaches there, but I was talking to them. OK. All right. All right. I know Coach Cooper there and, and whatnot. So so, you know, Darren, you know, we're going to give you uh, the chance now to speak to any of your fans, your followers, give any shout outs you may want to give. Talk to any college coaches right now. This is your time right now. Um, we're going to put, you know, put, put it on you right now, Darren. So anything that you would like to say? Uh, first, I like I think I'll, I would like to give out a bunch of shout outs, actually. Go ahead. The floor is yours. There's no time limit. <laughs> I'd like to shout out my old coach, Coach Padeen, for pushing me when I thought I couldn't do it. I'd like to shout out my dad because he's always been there, my mom, my two sisters, my older brother. I'd like to shout out my girlfriend, too, because she's been there supporting me the whole time. Right. And then I'd just like to shout out, give a shout out to my whole Columbus family for accepting me, believing in me, and pushing me to be the person that I am right now. And then for any college coach that ever watches this, I want them to just watch out for me on the track and just look at my film and know that I'm that guy. <laughs> Darren, man, I, I, I like it, man. I, I like it. And, and you know, I, I'm going to say right now, uh, you know, please drop your schedule uh, to me. You know, I'm going to send you my phone number. You drop, drop it in my uh, the DMs or whatever it may be. Would love to uh, come see you see you run. And, and uh, Miles Split has you as one of the top returning uh, athletes, track athletes. I'm going to call you a track athlete because you're running everything, right? <laughs> so uh, be on the lookout for Darren McQueen Jr., 22 recruit, uh, still open, commit, uh, uncommitted right now, still open. But Texas a and is a dream school, but he wants to hear from all the other schools as well. I'm just going to throw all of them out there. So, Darren, thank you so much for joining us. Is there anything else you would like to say? I would just like to say thank you for having me and reaching out to me. This was a great experience, and I was happy I'm able to have a conversation with you. Absolutely, Darren. And I'm hoping that you will be willing to come back on after the season or even uh, during the season. So thank you so much for joining us, and have a great night, Darren. Thank you so much. You have a great night. All right.